Hello everyone and welcome to In The Loop. I'm Seth Prentice. Today we are here at the Zelianople Community Pool and I am joined by Joan Wolf. Joan, welcome to the show. Oh, thank you for having me, Seth. Joan, we are here at this brand new renovated Zelianople Pool and it looks amazing. Well, thank you, thank you. We have so many new amenities and we're excited to be open this year. So let's talk about those amenities. I see some new things behind us and I'm sure you're excited to talk about it. Oh, we sure are. So we have our zero entry level for our young kids here um, with a mini slide. And that goes into our um, caregiver lounge where we have six lounge chairs that are submerged in the water. Wow. And it looks gorgeous. I just want to jump in right now. <laughs> we all do. <laughs> yeah. So uh, what have you added for the children? I'm sure there's a lot to, for them to check out this year. Yeah. So in our big six lane pool, we have um, a turtle and a lily pad, which are tethered down to the bottom. So that's been a magnet for the young kids to go and climb on every day. Now, I did hear that you added something new to the six lane pool as well. That is something you didn't have before. Oh, we sure do. We have a heater. I think this is the first time Zillian Opals have has had a heated pool, so everyone should be welcome and comfortable in that water. One of the first things I noticed when walking in was this big, huge rock climbing wall. I've never seen that at a pool. Yeah, that's exciting. The kids love it. Um, that's brand new again this year. Um, so the kids, one at a time, get to climb on that, and when they're done climbing to the top, they get to fall right back into the water. Now you did keep the slide and I believe some other things around that area, but you also added a new diving board? We have a uh, low diving board, yes we do. Okay, and talk about uh, you're doing new programs this summer that you want to get out to the community and let them know. Sure, so we have lap swimming available for adults in the morning, that goes from seven to 10. Um, it's $3 to come in and you can get those laps in and get your exercise before you head off to work. Um, and we also have the pool open available after hours from 7 to 9 for pool parties if you would like to rent that out. That's awesome. And you do not have to be a member of the Zealion Opal community to come for the lap swim, correct? No, that's correct. And what's nice about this pool is you can buy a membership. If you're going to use it a lot, you could save some money and buy the yearly membership or you could pay the daily rates. How has the pool become way more ADA accessible? Yeah, another great question. Thanks so much, Seth. So we do have a new ADA ramp that's starting from zero entry, and it leads all the way into the five-foot deep area into our six-lane pool. Railings on both sides, so it's easily accessible. And along with that, we have our chair that um, is an automated chair that if anyone would need assistance to get lower into the water, that we also have that on the deck. And then, of course, most importantly, at the end, we did have a, uh, another change, family changing area, which is also ADA um, approved, that was added all new this year. Are you still looking for additional funds or donations for the pool? Oh, Seth, we always are. You know that's a great question again. Um, so we can, you can donate on our website if you want to do a straight donation. And we've also had a brick um, promotion that you can get your name engraved on a brick. And if you look at the walkway when you come in, you can check it out on your way out. Um, people have their name engraved or their businesses. And so that is also a sponsorship for the pool. For those wanting to know at home any additional information on memberships and such, they can go onto your website, mm -hmm. correct? Sure. Our website is myzealypark.org, and there's a drop-down menu to the left, and you click on pool, and that will give you all the information on lessons and parties and anything else you need to know. Now, since the pool was uh, open a few weeks later than originally planned, are you planning to keep the pool open later this summer? Great question. Thanks. Um, yeah, we will stay open two weekends after Labor Day. So, and that's usually sometimes when it gets hot and everyone's uh, disappointed that the pool does close. So we'll have two additional weekends where it's open. That's awesome. And final question that I have for you is, I'm not a good swimmer. So say I need some lessons. Is that available? Absolutely. Again, on our website, you can find all the information. We offer group lessons from ages 3 through 12, and we have private lessons all the way through adult. And so you can get all that pricing and timing and everything on the website. Anything else, Joan, that you would like for the community to hear about on the Zealand Opal Community Pool? Um, no, if you haven't come down, please come down and try it out because I think it's a, a big attraction. The community is waiting a long time to have this open. So we are so excited and the response has been wonderful. This is definitely something to come see, come do, hang out by the pool. Hopefully the weather changes for this, uh, for, for you and everyone here at the pool. And I just want to thank you and hope you have a wonderful rest of the summer. Oh, Seth, thank you so much. Thanks for coming by. For Armstrong, I'm Seth Prentice, keeping you in the loop.